Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am proud to say that the University of Whitewater has won a number of national championships in many different intercollegiate sports. They are well known in Wisconsin across the nation for their championship programs. The University of Wisconsin Whitewater has one of the nation's most successful and longest running collegiate wheelchair basketball programs in the country. The Whitewater Warhawks wheelchair men's and women's basketball teams have co collectively won 16 national championships. 13. <laughs> 13 by the men's team and three by the women's team. In September of last year, 2021, UW Whitewater athletes led Team USA's men's wheelchair basketball to a gold medal at the Tokyo Paralympic Games, the second gold in a row for Team USA. Team USA in Tokyo included five players with ties to UW Whitewater. Jake Williams of Milwaukee, Matt Scott of Detroit, Michigan, Nate Hinsey of Cedar Grove, Wisconsin, Matt Lesrench of Coleman, Wisconsin, and John Boy of Milton, Wisconsin. I am proud to say that John was a student in my U.S. history class. I taught with his mother, and I played pickup basketball with his father. And I knew John was destined to be good because whenever we didn't have enough players, John played in the wheelchair and nobody wanted to garden. Christina Schwab, the UW Whitewater head coach for the women's wheelchair basketball, was the assistant coach for Team USA's team in Tokyo, for, for the USA men's team in Tokyo. UW Whitewater graduate Mariska Bezier, playing for the Netherlands women's wheelchair team, helped the Netherlands win the gold medal. UW Whitewater graduate Lindsay Zoberg helped the USA women's wheelchair basketball team take home the bronze medal in Tokyo. UW Whitewater athletes and coaches have set a tremendous example of dedication, hard work, and teamwork to produce national champions and champions on the world stage. Let us give a tremendous round of applause to the people representing UW Whitewater who are here in the assembly today. <laughs>